What's up YouTube, Andre here guys, back with another video. So in the previous video, we talked about the design and specs of the recently announced XZ2 Premium. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the XZ2 Premium and the fact that it may not even come to the UK or Ireland, the limited stock in the US and the unusual announcement with the actual device. So let's get straight into it guys. <laughs> Now I'm sure that we're all excited to see what the successor to the XZ Premium will actually be like in real life. So getting a hold of the new device, feeling the power of the new processor and experiencing Sony's new completely redesigned camera which will have a dual lens setup on the back with Sony focusing on nighttime photography. But the XZ2 Premium had a very quiet announcement. Now we expected this phone to be announced back in February at the Mobile World Congress 2018. But in a last minute change, Sony pulled out one of their devices. So as a result, we thought maybe Sony are just testing the waters with the new design language called Ambient Flow with the XZ2 and the XZ2 Compact just to see if people are actually gonna like the new design. So this led us to believe that maybe they will release the XZ2 Premium in September, where in the past they have announced a number of new devices. But no, the XZ2 Premium was not long ago announced completely out of the blue. I feel like there wasn't really much of a build up before they announced the XZ2 Premium. It kind of just happened. Now as much as I love Sony devices, I want the company to make me feel like this is the best new flagship device ever built. I want to crave the latest Sony flagship device. But the XZ2 Premium was kind of just announced with no huge build up or excitement. And we don't even have an exact release date yet. All we know is that it's going to be released this summer at some point. I want to know exactly when this phone will be released so I can be very excitingly waiting for it. It's just as much about the excitement of a new product as the product itself. Now when Samsung announced their S9 and the S9 Plus at the MWC 2018, they had a huge stage with thousands of people. They marketed the new flagship device so much before the actual announcement that it got people so excited wanting and craving the actual product before even knowing what it was. Personally, I don't feel like Sony dropped the same amount of excitement. I feel like they need to work a little bit more on their marketing. Now on top of all that, the Exit 2 Premium may not even come to the UK or Ireland, which makes me feel as a Sony fan that the company doesn't care about the UK or Ireland to even bother releasing the new device. It's like I want to be excited about Sony's new flagship device but I can't really let myself do that because it may not even come to the UK. Naturally people may start to look elsewhere for a flagship device. Now according to techradar.com the lack of CDMA support with the Exit 2 Premium suggests that it won't actually run carriers such as Sprint and Verizon in the US. Now these are two very big carriers in the US and Sony are very much limiting themselves by doing that. Sony what is going on? Amazing guys, now I don't mean to be negative, but apart from the limited marketing, the unusual announcement, and the fact that we may not even get it in the UK and Ireland, I am still very much excited for the Exit 2 Premium, and I'm so looking forward to trying out this new dual lens camera, that is if I can actually get my hands on the Exit 2 Premium, here in the UK. But I would love to know what you guys think of all this. Leave everything in the comments down below. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you really, really enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button, guys. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching and have a good day.